Hello, welcome to Redhead Art and our Halloween special. We will be sharing our usual cute and easy crafts, but in a ghoulish environment. So come in and take a look and see what we have for you today. First things first, subscribe to the channel, Incredibly Busy, yes. Red Ted Art. So, are you planning a Halloween party? Well, I might be. Mm. I've got some ideas, do you want me to show you? Yes, please. I think it's really fun to do a Halloween party as well as doing trick-or-treating. It kind of extends the whole excitement. So you've got the preparation before, you've got the trick-or-treating, and then you've got the party afterwards. So um, here's some really great uh, lanterns that we've made. <laughs> These are just simple tissue paper and a bit of glue, um, and we've got some cut out paper here, stick some electric tea lights in those. You can either hang some wire and hang them in the garden or they're great just sort of popped on the table. And really easy for young children because they can help brush on the glue yeah. and stick things on. Yeah. And um, I think these are about three or four years old. Still wow. going strong. <laughs> From the recycling. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Tell me more about the party. Well, I thought about some food maybe. Maybe some little edible creatures. We could have some satsumas with a, and grab your marker pen, draw a little face on yeah. there. And Not sure if they can see it that well, but basically you just you draw a little jack-o'-lantern on. Yeah. And it's really easy. Jack -o -lantern. Jack -o -lantern. And healthy. Yeah. Nice. So, right, we could, you could even sort of take your small pumpkins and do them on there if you didn't Aww. want to do any carving. I bet the kids would enjoy doing that yeah. actually. Really yeah. sweet for little ones. Easier. So, yeah, much easier. What about jelly? These are the ones I want to see. They're coming. Oh. Would you like to hold some? <laughs> yes. Do you know what these are? Oh. <laughs> Eyeballs? <laughs> Eyeballs. Oh. Some lovely green jelly. Oh. So what are they? Well, actually, they're lychee with some frozen blueberries. Brilliant. Nice. Brilliant. They look amazing. Yeah, and I know my kids, they'll enjoy these ones because they want to keep the plastic spider afterwards. Oh, yeah. yeah. But this one, it's actually quite a healthy bit of lychee and blueberry. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Such a genius idea. <laughs> Thanks. Really good. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. Right. Party games. Uh, we did it again did this a couple of years ago. Oh, a bit noisy. <laughs> so six of these. Is it six? Yes. I've got uh, stack them up and get a tennis ball, roll and see how many you can knock over. Or, um, yeah, so great for um, tin can bowling. Oh, yeah, a lot of fun. Or line them up, get the kids throwing ping pong balls in them. Or pom poms. They've got a bit of longevity as well because you could use them as pen pots. Yeah, and, and to be honest, we do, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. So, I mean, these are actually a year and a bit old um, and still looking pretty good. A little great bit scratched around. I love yeah. this one. It's so That's cute. one of my favourites. Yeah. Really fun, like isn't it? So, really, really like this. The tin can, tin can bowling. Really fun. Oh. Nice and oh, noisy. Sorry. My little character. Oh, he's cute. So sweet. It's a bit Day of the Dead, that, isn't it? Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, great pin cushion. Yes, nice. Yeah. Or lavender. Mm. A, a ghoulish uh, draw scented thingamajiggy. Yeah. yeah, but really um, easy to yeah. do. This It's not actually a blanket stitch, is it? It's just, no, you're just stitching around yeah. the edge. And you put it on a key ring, that yeah. would look quite nice, couldn't yeah, it? Really good. Yeah. Excellent. Mm, similarly? No, not similarly, but <laughs> talking about woolly things. Yeah. Things not. to hang from bags. Maybe. <laughs> things to hang from yeah. bags. Um, we have some little bats. I don't oh, know if you can see their is. wings there. Um, or a little wing, quite a dark one, this one. So basically you create your pom-pom, you cut out your bat wing shape, so put a little thing at the top and, you, and your um, little sort of ears, and literally with a bit of glue, just jam it in. Hang it off your purse. Yeah, let it set. Some googly eyes, you know, purse charms, yeah. very popular these very. days. And I think these are quite yeah, sweet, really aren't they? Yeah. I do like cute Halloween. Don't you like cute? <laughs> of course. Yes. It doesn't have to be scary. <laughs> but um, the monsters. Oh yes, monsters are good. Yeah, we keep the monster thing going. Can you see what this is? Do you know what that is, Maggie? It's for putting on the corner of your book to save a page. Yeah, it's actually one of my most popular videos. It's really nice. Art. It's so cute. Yeah, yeah, they're so easy to make. And you could uh, you could do it in orange if you wanted to do kind of a jack o' lantern version. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'd be yeah. so cute, wouldn't I'd it? Like it really lovely. And, and put it in your Halloween reads this this Halloween. Um, cute. Black cat, green cat, so you know lucky the witch, charm. lucky yeah. charm. Uh, again, made from either cardboard tubes, you know, the kitchen paper towel rolls cut in half, or loo rolls. Mm. I know some people aren't so keen on them, but um, nice decoration. This one, you can actually open up and put something in. And on this one, uh, we put this little bow on like a gift wrap. And if you did want to fill it, I would just, just again, stuff a little bit of tissue paper yeah. to keep it in place. Yeah. And they make kind of little treat boxes, really sweet. But again, the children might just like playing with them. Mm. Doesn't have to be a treat box each time, yes, does nice. it? So nice we're almost know. coming to the end, I think. Oh, nice. So we have a oh, lantern. Do you know what this is made from? Well, 
let's have a look. It looks like a couple of paper plates. Paper plates, yeah. exactly. So we've got two different designs. Oh, that's so um, sweet. Paper plates, you cut out the centre. And the great thing about this paper here is you can um, either draw your design or trace it. And my son actually did a combination of the two. He, we, we printed out some cute little monsters, I think, from Pick Monkey that yeah. he liked. And I think one he traced, which was this one, and this one he then felt more confident Aww. and then did his own. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I mean, so you can trace it if the children are a little less confident, they can draw their own. And also, if they do their drawing and they don't like it, they can start again. Yeah. And then you stick it on the back and then use paper to stick it together. Quite fun. Electric, lights, lights, electric lights, yeah, and then we put it on a stick and we walk with oh, it. So sweet, really so sweet. sweet. And then finally, love this one. I hope it comes out well. We've got this super duper, oh, actually incredibly easy skeleton t shirt. So if you're uh, needing a Halloween costume in a hurry, um, you need a black top, purple top, or green, something dark yeah. for underneath, and an old white t-shirt, and basically you cut some strips into it. Look at those. And you've... Oh, it's good. <laughs> really fun, isn't yeah. it? I'd say it's good if the t-shirt is a little bit on the loose side, yeah. not too loose, but a little bit, and then you get this sort of hanging oh, really effect. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you enjoyed our Halloween and this special Halloween series that we've got for you. Don't forget to subscribe to both Incredibly Busy and Red Ted Art, and hopefully see you here again soon. See Bye! Bye.